To simplify this expression, let's use rules for exponents. So that's 64 to the 1 half power. That is c to the 4 thirds to the 1 half power. So that would be c raised to a power of 4 thirds times 1 half. The power of a power, we multiply exponents. In the denominator, that's a to the negative 2 thirds power raised to this power, so I will also multiply exponents, and then b to the 5 6 power raised to the 1 half power. Again, that means I multiply exponents. So let's see what we have. By the way, what is 64 to the 1 half power? That is the square root of 64, which is 8. And then I have c raised to a power of, we're multiplying fractions, so we can go ahead and look for common factors, and we have a common factor of 2 here. That's 2 times 1 or 2 over 3 times 1 or 3, so that's c raised to a power of 2 thirds. In the denominator, I have a, now this is going to be negative because I've got a negative fraction times a positive fraction, common factor of 2, so I have negative 1 over 3, and then b raised to a power of nothing that can be divided out, so 5 times 1 or 5 over 6 times 2 or 12. I'd like to write this so that I have positive exponents only, so I will take a step and write this as 8. Now I'll go ahead and write my a to the 1 3rd power here in the numerator. It's a to the negative 1 3rd power in the denominator, so if I bring it to the numerator, it's a to the 1 3rd power, c to the 2 3rds power, over, and then I have b to the 5 12ths power. No further simplifying can be done because these bases are all different.